Internal PET4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. <clears throat> the energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Smoking related issues have been especially intense since the- Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Warm. And comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high-temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening. Myself? No, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on.
It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the battle of combat. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. <sighs> Charles, who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences radio of the future. It could be anything. The future is vast. Comrade Major. Yes? Got something constructed to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars.
canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really?